I'm Michael Quigley. I'm a clinical uh, ophthalmologist uh, doing uh, uh, retina work, medical retina work in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Given that I am mostly what's called an injection te technician, is all I do is inject medications into the eye to treat macular degeneration and some other um, macular diseases, including diabetes and uh, vein occlusions, is you sort of begin to wonder what is um, is happening. Is there a better way to to try to prevent macular degeneration? So we go. Uh, back and look at the uh, large epidemiologic studies, uh, the best ones being the uh, Beaver Dam Eye study and the Pola study from France, uh, where they attempted to uh, link uh, macular degeneration to sunlight exposure. And there's a whole history of why sunlight would or should be considered as a, a, a possible uh, starting point or uh, uh, causative or play a causative role in, in macular degeneration. So uh, the studies uh, to date uh, have um, these two studies, uh, neither of them were able to establish a clear link with um, macular degeneration. However, uh, they did mention that the wearing, both of them mentioned independently that the wearing of sunglasses uh, decreased uh, some of the uh, lesions that we see in macular degeneration, and they decreased them significantly. So later on, there are, there have been there's been a meta-analysis, a grouping together of all the studies uh, on sunlight exposure, and yes, it does seem to be uh, some evidence that uh, macular degeneration uh, is uh, is uh, there's a causative role for sunlight exposure in macular degeneration. So getting to what, uh, what I did is uh, we looked at another group of uh, patients, uh, patients who have myopia or uh, nearsightedness, who also are not uh, affected by macular degeneration. And, and in fact, the more macular degeneration, uh, the more myopia that, that you have, the less likely you are to get macular degeneration. So this uh, prompted the question, does, um, myopia have uh, less light exposure at the level of the retina uh, than people who do not have myopia. That is to say, do sunglasses uh, and myopia share something in common? And it, could that be decreased uh, light exposure uh, at the level of the retina? So we can't implant a a chip or a light detector in the back of the retina uh, in a, a normal person. And so what we did is calculations uh, to, to uh, try and establish uh, that link. And uh, yes, we, we, we were able to establish the, uh, the calcul by calculations in any case that uh, there is less retina light dose in myopia compared to non-myopes, and it is in a graded fashion. That is to say, the more myopia, the less uh, retina light or photons strike the retina uh, on an area basis. And it's of the same order as uh, a pair of sunglasses. That is to say, a weak pair of commercial sunglasses you pick up in the pharmacy uh, has the same as effect as having a moderate level of uh, of myopia in terms of decreasing the retinal light dose. The advantage of uh, the myopia is that you're always getting less retina, uh, retinal light dose because the, that factor that makes you myopic, the, the larger sized eye, uh, is uh, always present. Whereas your sunglasses, you only wear them when you remember to wear them. So that's the essence. So. Uh, on the basis of this, we, we, we seem to think or we're trying to advocate more for the wearing of sunglasses specifically to try to decrease retinal light dose and hopefully decrease uh, the, um, the uh, level of uh, macular degeneration.
the idea is that this goes before the presence of macular degeneration. The wearing of sunglasses or decreasing uh, retinal light dose it should occur uh, much, much sooner. You know, I don't know when. So in that case, because of that, I would suggest the wearing of sunglasses at a, at a, uh, a much earlier age. Well, I, there, there, there is the uh, principle uh, in um, in the, the the field of uh, light damage that uh, called reciprocity. The the higher the light dose uh, that it goes in, the more intense the light, the shorter the duration uh, necessary to create damage. So, you you would want to try to minimize, uh, you know, uh, high intense light even for short periods of time.